Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a couple minutes today to show you how to make the chocolate monster that we made during our recent production of that. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is take your mug and your insulating foam and you want to start at the bottom. And so the foam will start to come out and you just go in circles and you want to fill it up roughly about halfway because it's super dense so it will expand as it starts to expand you want to let it sit overnight um, so that it can completely fill the cup and it's going to create a dome over the top the next thing that you want to do is cut to the small square where the piece of chocolate is going to go. So I usually guesstimate an, uh, about an inch and then I do the length of the X-Acto knife, which is roughly three centimeters, maybe four centimeters. So after you finish cutting the, the square um, in the foam, you want to take a Model Magic or some sort of sculpey or lightweight clay, and you're gonna make the little chocolate bar. So since our hole was cut at about an inch, you wanna make sure that the bottom of the square is an inch. Now it's time to start painting. So what I like to do is, even though the foam is white, if you take a little bit of white paint and just dab on it, um, it'll create kind of a shiny effect and I think it just makes it look a little bit more like food and less like a foam insulation. Once you have a decent layer of paint all over your foam, you can take whatever kind of embellishment you want. So that could be, in this case, I'm using small beads and then get ready to make a beady mess because um, it can get really messy. So I usually have some sort of drop cloth or something to catch at least as much as possible. And you can put as much or little as you want on it. It just depends on the look that you want to go for. So there we are sprinkled up. And then next up, our piece of chocolate is dry. So we want to take a dark brown and you just paint over it. Once your paint is done drying, you want to hot glue your chocolate piece into the insulated foam. And it should, if you measured right, just slide in there. There we go. Now we're on to the final step, which is creating the drizzle on top. So I took a lighter shade um, of paint, of brown paint, and you're just going to kind of glaze over the top of it. It's okay if it's a little messy or it gets on the cup because I don't think there is such thing as a neat hot chocolate. And that's it. That's your chocolate monster. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a chocolate monster. Happy crafting.